I don't know if I've actually mentioned on film yet that uh, we'd run the calculations into the uh, computer and had discovered that uh, the speaking length in, in the top half of the, uh, the bridge was very poor and uh, it would work out better if we changed it so that we've got slightly less of a speaking length up at the top end because we were getting... was it far too much? Uh, Resistance. resistance. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. And then it was around 90% instead of being somewhere 70 to 75. Yeah. And around this point here, originally, how it was staggered was it came down, there was there was the break where the frame sits, and then suddenly it jumped down and carried on. And because of that, the difference in tension between this note and that note was quite severe. Um, you know, even and you, it's not just a simple case of going up or down a couple of gauges of wire, um, because it doesn't change the um, resistance value. The, the resistance value of the string. It'll only change the tension, not the resistance. So what we've done is calculated it so that these come down a little bit further, and then these are up higher than they were before before coming down. And this is now staggered, as you can see. It's got a tiny bit of a lip on it. That's going to be chamfered a little bit, so that uh, we can get in the new and improved uh, scaling. Um, on most pianos nowadays, you actually see that where that is staggered like that, where the the bridge comes down, and then where there's this gap, it'll come out a little bit and, co and then continue going down. Uh, but this one being a slightly earlier model didn't have that so um, we've got to go through and uh, actually carry on doing it. I wonder if that big Beckstein D's got it. So, well, nope. Has that not got it either? I don't think so. um, it hasn't but it's not quite as uh, quite as bad as that one. They, they have staggered it slightly that one they've staggered slightly more. Look, you can see where the angle of the uh, it changes angle a little bit there. Look, but uh, that's nothing to do with the, uh, the jump between that one and that one. As you can see, this one's got the uh, staggered hitch pins at the front, so that each string is a different speaking length. But uh, anyway, right. So there we go, and uh, got some nice carving going on. Now, unfortunately, I didn't uh, get a chance to video these being uh, made by uh, our work experience guy, Andrew, but that is the new trap work system for the piano. Come all the way down here, and then into the, into the bottom. So yeah, there you go, look. <coughs> Three pedal modification. Because I, I know I've mentioned it before, but uh, this piano only had two pedals before, and we had to modify it to fit uh, three. Now you can see that they come up through there, they connect to there, and you've got your pedal system. This one here, look, it's got the uh, mechanism like that. That one does that. And uh, the other one's unchanged, isn't it? I think the, uh, yeah, the other one's unchanged, yeah. So there we go. Nearly bashed my head on the on the wheel then when I was coming up the caster. 
That was a bit silly. Oh, and uh, stained leg. Not quite finished staining, but uh, stained versus unstained. A little bit better. A little bit more of a match. We get in there with it. So that's that. So, lovely. Right. <clears throat> Staining to do. Right, uh, I think it's been a while since I did any uh, talking on the polishing side of things. Uh, so as you can see, here are some bits that are close to completion, if not completed. These bits are completed. These are part of the legs. As you can see, they are looking very, very nice indeed. And this. Uh, this polish that we've got, it, it actually looks like it's been French polished, which is a really nice finish. So we're very happy with that. Um, I haven't filmed a lot of the uh, actual polish work getting done because uh, the uh, the polish the the lady who works in the polishing department, who's uh, <laughs> doing a lot of the work on this one, has uh, works evenings and weekends and days that I'm not in, so I've not been able to. Uh, to show her actually doing the uh, the job but uh, as you can see she's been doing an amazing job and it's all coming along nicely um also on this video while i'm here and while the piano's here we've had uh, this one that's come in a while ago and we're starting work on now i thought it would be interesting to show you this because it's a bit of a uh, a bit of a fancy piano to show off i mean look at this round here look ernst caps you don't, they don't make them like that anymore, do they? Those transfer and look at these soundboard transfers. How posh is that? I might do another one when I've got all the strings off just to show you, but that is very, very fancy. Lady, look, you can't really see her very well with the strings on, but there's a lady underneath there and all sorts of stuff. And this is a fancy piano as well because it's got triple soundboard that's the main soundboard down there underneath there that's and then you've got a raised soundboard here and then another raised soundboard on the top of it so it's a triple soundboard these are to emphasize the upper frequencies the, uh, the higher frequencies so that uh, you get more of a, uh, a brighter sound but as you can tell from this piano in the state that it's currently in Brightness is not something it needs emphasising. <laughs> this is something a bit strange as well. Look at that. Look, look, the speaking length that I was talking about on the other piano, they've got all those pins level with the speaking length, but on that side, just drilled them all in a line. Unusual. Anyway, that's nothing to do with uh, our Beckstein that uh, I'm making this video about. That's just another project. So, uh, yes, but as you can see, all the polishing is doing well. It's coming along quite nicely, and uh, yes, we'll see how it looks when it's all finished. Now, here we go, the piano is back on its legs. How about that? And nicely polished too. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to come out on this phone. This is the first time I've tried using video on this particular phone. Uh, and it has been a, um, a few days since I actually did any video footage while the piano is getting worked on. As you can see, the bridges have now been black leaded and the pins put in them as well. So, uh, and as you can see, that is quite nice. Not a bad bridge there. Brand new bridge. Uh, and also, soundboard has been finished. That's been polished. And also, we now have the transfer that Phil was working on on the computer, if you can remember. He was doing all these things up at the top, making them look all lovely. And now we've got the transfer put on. Printed it out on some uh, uh, water-based transfer paper. I should have actually made a video of that going on, although 
it went, didn't go on particularly well, actually, and there was a lot of swearing involved, so maybe it was better that I did miss that particular stage out. Um, so, <clears throat> what we're going to do now that it's uh, that the piano has been re-legged and that uh, that's all nicely polished and everything, uh, we are going to get the frame in. Um, as you can see, I've got the, the pillar bolts in. The pillar bolts are these things here. These uh, help to support the frame. Um, they also have a slight secondary function as well, which I uh, I won't get into right now. Um, but now you can see what the uh, the bridge is looking like as well in the top. Uh, as you can see, it's it comes out slightly past the. It's hard to get an angle. It comes out slightly past where it was before, which shortens that. Come on, phone, focus. Thank you. Um, comes out further, so we're actually shortening the stringing, stringing length, and that will help the top treble. Um, in fact, before I start restringing, I'll show you the actual um, chart that we're working from on the computer, so you've got a, uh, so you know what I'm talking about. So um, yes, there we go. So I suppose next thing is get the frame in.